hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on this brand new episode of Why the Fuck Does Every YouTuber Think They're a Rapper? <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Leon Lush, uh, the Tomato King, and thank you so much for joining me for this new video. As always, I am chocked full of gratitude that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me today. So in the comments of my most recent video, my dear friend Aaron Haynes said, Hey Leon, react to Tana Mong's new song, lol, I dare you not to catch AIDS, f*** it. <laughs> Just no beating around the bush with Aaron, always cutting straight to the point. So I love the man. So I thought to myself, ah, Tana Mongoose, I don't know, kind of lame, right? But then I remembered, Leon, it has been so long since you've done a Try Not to Catch AIDS challenge. Let's give it a go. So if I said to you, Tana Mojo created a music video, what's the first thing that, that pops into your mind? What is like, if you just one word, just off the cuff, if I said Tana Mongoose created a music video, you're thinking what? Remarkable, revolutionary, incredible, breathtaking, magnificent. No. It's none of those things. It's, it's a, a polished, polished turd. turd. And of course, what I mean by that is the music is produced professionally. It's shot with very expensive camera equipment, so it looks amazing. The cinematography is fantastic, but the actual substance is shit. Polished turd. And listen, there's no shade towards Tana Mongeau from Leon Lush over here. I mean, she's just doing the natural progression of what it means to be a YouTuber. And I don't know if you've been around the past six or eight months. I'm sure that you probably have, but Polished Turd is the hottest motherfucking genre on YouTube right now. Anyways, why don't we just stop tickling each other's balls and take a quick peek at this masterpiece. We got stacks of Playboy magazines and heaps of girls just lying all over each other on a bed in only their lingerie. We are off to a promising start. Uh, I do hope that there is a scene by a pool though later on. Every, every good rap video has to have a scene by a pool, doesn't it? Hi there, future editing Leon here. And the answer to that question is no, it doesn't. Having watched the whole music video at this point, I can tell you that to my dismay, there is no scenes by a pool in this particular rap video. So what had the potential to be an 11 out of 10 banger, now is a maximum six and a half soft seven. Here it comes. Here comes the bass is gonna drop. I know the motherfucking bass is coming. I'm trying to be a playmate, but uh, I wanna be Hugh Hefner. I wanna throw bands on these holes. What? Voice modulation. Oh, your bitch like Whoa. I'm Hefner. Oh, there's the bass. I'm like I Woo! Her. No fake in my tits, but I'll check hers. Your bitch give me brain like her neck hurts. I could count higher than 21. My bank is just fine, get your money up. Gold in my blunts that we rolling up. Red on my shoes. Yo! Yo, this motherfucking song slaps! I'm just kidding. I'm just overreacting to try and be entertaining. This pressure is unbearable. I hate being a YouTuber. Look at me now. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Jump up. Pulling up. You used to drop them panties. Now you drowning in them Xannies. There's the Xanax reference. I knew it was coming. I didn't know when, but I'm glad it came early because, I mean, let's be honest, prescription anxiety medication has become the crutch of the rap industry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck on your bitch like I'm Hefner. She say she in love, but I left her. She sip on my pussy like nectar. She say he was good, but I'm better. I can do this YouTube rap thing. It doesn't look that hard. Now you go grab me a Playboy Bunny outfit and we'll get this thing popping. What was that? Oh, you don't think I can rap? You don't think I can do it? You fucking piece of dog. Yo, I fucked your bitch. So it wraps up with uh, Tana and Bella Thorne just making out a little bit more on the bed. And that is, as they say in the industry, a rap. And the award goes to Leon Lush for best pun. I don't know if they say that. I'm not in the industry, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be. B well, I'm gonna make a bold statement right now because I'm looking at a screen that says that that song's available on iTunes and Spotify right now. And what I'm gonna say about that is that if you actually spent 99 cents to download that song to either your handheld device, your iPad, or even the iMotherfucking Cloud. <laughs> you, my friend, should jump off the closest bridge you find with cement boots on. Real talk, though, I, I don't really have a problem with YouTubers that aren't really musicians trying to make music, you know what I'm saying? They're just having fun. 
not all music needs to be profound or have hidden meaning. Sometimes it's just entertaining because of how over the top it is, how bad it is. Blah, 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 and it's fun to comment about. It creates a lot of hubbub amongst the uh, the YouTube community. Now, uh, this video, I believe, is about almost 2 million views now in a day or two, which, I mean, that's not like Rice Gum Diss Tracks level, but, you know, Tana puts up some numbers, so I gotta give her credit for that. But hey, forget about what I think about it. Let's see what the rest of the internet thinks. Feels good to be running from the devil Another breath and I'm up another level Thank you, Tana. I now want to die. Well... The reviews are in, it seems. Is this a try not to cringe challenge? Shit, I failed this one. <laughs> Actually, Danny, it was uh, it was a try not to get age challenge. And you might want to get tested because you probably failed. You probably failed too. My little sister told me to watch this. What the actual fuck are these little thoughts watching? Did he just call his little sister a thought? <gasps> Anyone that thinks this is good is probably deaf. <laughs> Lettuce, mayonnaise, fries, and onions. If you don't have your own song on YouTube, are you even relevant, though? I mean, Faye Fever has a pretty good point. If you're a million-plus subscriber YouTuber, and you don't have either A, a diss track, or B, just a terrible rap track in general, you're pretty much, you're pretty much on the decline and on your way out the door. Yes! You're the only YouTube music I like! Hard, 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 hard. Who can relate? Woo! Nobody. That's who. Nobody can relate to that comment. And finally, my dear friend Taylor Farrell says this. You ruined music for me, like music in general. Whew. Tragic stuff. Thank you so much for participating with me in this edition of the Try Not To Get Age Challenge. If you did, in fact, get AIDS like I did, little disclaimer, I am not liable for your future medical bills. Now, if you could head out to your backyard, grab a handful of leaves, head back inside, put them into a cereal bowl, add 2% milk, Stir it up real good, take one humongous bite, stand up out of your computer chair and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I would appreciate it dearly. Until next time, take care. <laughs>